If you're using Notion, then you need to watch this video because I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can create button widgets in your Notion setup. And the best thing about it is that they're totally free. So let's jump into the PC and supercharge your Notion. So the first thing you need to do is head over to indify.co and log in. Once you've logged in, you should end up on this screen. And once you scroll down, you should be able to see a whole host of other widgets that this particular team have developed. Um, and I highly recommend you use them and check those out. So if you are interested, then I did do an in-depth tutorial on those previously. And I'll put a link to that video description above and below. And now it's time to finally create the widget. So let's kick things off by clicking on the create widget button. On the left hand side, you have all of the customization options. And then on the right hand side, you'll get a live preview of all of the changes you're making. Why don't we kick things off by adding multiple buttons? So I'm just going to go ahead and click the add button. And as you can see, it's just basically created multiple buttons that are identical. You can also click on the three dots on the right hand side and actually click copy and then it will create another button as well. Uh, then go and click on delete and it will delete the button and just resize the widget to make it look a little bit neater. So as you can see, because we had four buttons, they got a little bit squeezed, but I can easily go ahead and drag the buttons and there you go, that looks much better now. This is a really good feature and it means that you don't have to create individual widgets every time you wanna add a new button. Within this particular style of layout, if we scroll down on the left hand side, you'll see that within the horizontal button layout, you have this additional option feature available, which is the button alignment. At the moment, it's selected to space evenly, but we can go ahead and actually change this to left align and click on center. And then you can also align them towards the right hand side. You can see this horizontal padding available as well. If you scroll this along, you should see more spacing appear in between the button. The next thing we can do is click on the button layout and select vertical. The next thing you can do is change the layout to be full width. The next feature is changing the font that appears on buttons itself. So as always, you get three different options. So you can go with the default, which is what we've got selected at the moment, or you can go with a serif font, or you can go with a mono font. We can also go ahead and change the size of the buttons, change that to small. And we can also go ahead and change the size to be large. And then you can just resize this slightly if the button gets a bit too big for the edges of your widget. The next thing we can customize is the shape of the button itself. So as you can see, this particular option is the slight rounding which has been selected so it doesn't have a sharp edge. You can go ahead and select none and what you'll see is it gives you this clean rectangular look which is great as well and then you can also change that to a round cornering as well so it gives you this sort of nice button look. So you see this white space between the dash lines and the button. So at the moment it's set to white by default but we can go ahead and click on this menu option and then you can simply go ahead and click on the color and then you can change it whatever color you want so there you go so that's all of the customization options i wanted to run through at the top level but you can now go into each individual buttons and actually change them and customize them so let's go ahead and open up the first button so the first thing we can do is go ahead and hide the icon if we don't want that to appear next to the text so if i go ahead and do that Go ahead and open up our next button and for this one I'm just going to go ahead and select one of these predefined color options. Let's go ahead and select this yellow one. So as you can see it's completely changed the look of that button. And we'll just go ahead and change the text and then we'll go ahead and change the icon which you can simply do by hovering over it and then going ahead and selecting right. Now let's go ahead and customize the third button. So for this I'm just going to go ahead and make this a Notion tutorials button. We'll go ahead and change this to a graduation cap and then we'll hover down. Now instead of selecting the pre-selected colors, I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the advanced colors. And in here it'll give you three different options. One is to change the background color or the outline color or the text color itself. And as you can see, it's completely changed the background color. We can go ahead and change the outline color to be completely different as well. Or you can go ahead and change the text if you want. And then finally, let's just go ahead and look at our fourth button that we had. So for this one, I'm going to change this into a contact one so people can email us. So now I'm going to show you how you can add external links to these buttons. So let's go ahead and use this particular one as an option. So we'll use a Notion Tutorials one. So in here, you'll see this option for the URL. So you can basically go ahead and put any website link into this one. 
So what I'm going to do is actually go over to the Productivity Corner website. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and copy the, the URL and we'll simply go ahead and paste this in. And then we'll just leave that there. And then the second thing I want to show you is how to convert your contact us or your email button into something that doesn't open up into a web page, but rather your default email client. The way you do that is by simply typing in this particular command. So it's basically mail to colon and then your email address. And that's all there is to it actually. So I think those two buttons are now set up. So why don't we now go ahead and put these into our Notion app and see what happens when we actually click on these buttons. And the way you do that is basically scroll to the bottom and then all you have to do is go ahead and click on this button and it'll copy this URL. So I'm on this page within my Notion web browser app and I'll go ahead and simply paste. And then we wanna be able to create embed. And as soon as you do that, you can see it's created the widget and then you can go ahead and resize that. And now what you can basically do is simply, you can see when I hover over the buttons, the first two, because we didn't actually add a URL in there, nothing actually happens. But as soon as I hover over the Notion tutorials one, you can see that it's allowing me to click on this button. So as you can see, it's opened up that productivity corner website that I put in into the button. So that's working great. Now let's go ahead and see what happens when we click on the contact us button. So remember, this is going to take us into our mail client. So let's go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it's opening up our email client and then it's opened up an email that goes directly to that email address. So as you can see, you can go ahead and easily create buttons just like this where people can email you without having to type in your email address manually, which is a great feature. And I want to go ahead and now create another button widget. And this time around, we're actually going to create social share icons. Again, it's very easy to do. So let me just go ahead and show you how to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the text this time around. And we'll go ahead and select some of the social icons. So we'll go ahead and select Facebook. Then I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. And we'll go ahead and copy this a couple of more times. And now I'm just going to go ahead and change the icon to Pinterest, Instagram. Let's do Twitter and let's do another one, which is LinkedIn. So as you can see on the right hand side, it started creating those social icons. And what we can do is we can actually go ahead and change the background color to be blue. Just going to remove the outline color. I'm just going to go ahead and change the layout to be round. That looks a little bit better. So I quite like this look now. So the final thing to do here is to actually add the URL links in here. So the best way to do this is to actually go to your Notion page and then go ahead and click on copy link. And once you've got the link, I want you to head over to websiteplanet.com and then forward slash web tools forward slash share link. Once you're on here, all you have to do is basically copy in the page from your Notion web page and then basically create links. And then it should give you shareable links to every single one of those platforms. And all you then have to do is simply go ahead and copy the link and paste that link in here. So I think that was the Twitter link. So we'll go in here and we'll paste that in. And now when you go ahead and put this into your Notion setup and you click on this, it should open up the Twitter page. Uh, and we can just go ahead and just test those out. So we can go ahead and click this test link. And as you can see, it's opened up your Twitter directly with a link to the page you wanted to share and you can just go ahead and tweet that out. So again, this is a really easy and quick way of turning any URL into a shareable link on any of those social media platforms um, that you want to use. So now we'll go ahead and just copy this in and we'll head over to our Notion and then we'll create some space and then I'm just gonna add it over here at the top. So I'm gonna paste and embed my link in here. And then as we always do, we're just going to resize this so it fits in quite nicely with our page. And as you can see, it's now got the menu bar and it's also got our shareable links on the right hand side. And as you can see, as soon as I hover over the Twitter page or the Twitter icon, it gives me that clickable link. And when I click that, it takes me back to that Twitter page. So the final thing I want to show you is that on your menu, you can actually link internally to Notion pages as well. So let's say you wanted to go from this article page within your Notion setup to another page, for instance, this page in Notion. So you could obviously go ahead and click on it if you have set it up as one of your favorites. 
or you can use the button widget. So let me show you how to do that. So the quickest way to do that is again, so if you want to come to this page, then we just go ahead to the top right hand corner. And then within that home button, we're just simply going to drop that URL in there. And then if you just hover over the home button, you can see that it's already got that URL added in. So now if I go and just click that, you can see that it opens up another window within my browser and it's taken me straight to that page within my Notion setup that I wanted to go to. So now I'm in my Notion desktop app. And as you can see, I've got the same menus. Obviously, I can change this. Um, I can hover over this button and go over into the customization. And when I click on that, it'll take me back to this page. I can actually simply scroll down and change this into a, into a dark mode. And this time around, I'll just have to copy that link again. So as you can see, it's now got that dark theme. And because of my desktop app, I've got the dark theme working it just makes more sense for me to use that particular feature as opposed to the one where i had the light theme set up so anyways once you're in here you can see that if you hover over that notion page link and i click on that it takes me into that page without having to open up that web url so again it's it's really good so it just depends on how you want to use this feature whether you want to use it within your notion desktop app or you want to use it in your notion browser i mean how cool is this widget please let me know in the comments below whether you liked it and whether you'll be using it as part of your notion setup so there's only one more thing i like to add to this video and that is that even though i mentioned at the start of this video that this particular button widget is actually free um, I would say that with a word of caution because actually at the time of recording this video I did actually notice that the weather widget that was also produced by the Indify team that used to be free when I first recorded my video over a year ago has now actually been included as part of their upgraded or paid plan. So clearly the team is still working through their pricing model and it may be the case that in some point in the future this really powerful button widget also goes into their paid plan so that's just something to be aware of but having said all of that i think this button widget is so powerful and versatile that i would highly recommend you start using it as part of your notion setup and if you did like this video then please make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions then please let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best to respond to them and if you like this type of content and if you haven't done so already, then please consider subscribing because that would greatly help the channel and I will see you in the next video.